Hey everybody. So here it is wet and about to see here it is dry and I started painting in some flamingos. Um, this is just roughing in the flamingo shapes and colors and I um, I'm deciding on sky color and things like that so um, it's about all I can say for this part here. Um, I just kind of wanted to situate everything where I wanted it. I'm using some free reference photos and I just continue on and I'll let you watch the video for the rest of the the uh, updates here. Coming up really quick is um, an extra pour that I did along the bottom. So there it is along the bottom and I have added in some grasses and I didn't like how sort of chalky and dry it was looking so oh you can see also that I've added in some more sort of mountain hillside area there with all the blues in the background and the teal uh, and here in the grassy area is all the grasses and uh, whatnot so I've started roughing in further the the birds the flamingos and adding in some sort of texture for their feathers um, so I'll just let you keep watching and I change things as I go and I keep adding but uh, this is the point where um, it's sort of an underpainting at this point and I'm deciding on colors in the skies and things like or in the sky and things like that and um, what I'm going to do as far as um, emphasizing the hillsides uh, a little bit more yet so I'll just let you keep watching because I'm rambling and um, I did my best with the video I pieced together a lot of different shots and things so uh, thanks for watching and I'll just leave you to it So here we have some time lapse of myself working on these flamingos. I am trying to um, create, uh, well, fill in details of their faces and heads and bodies, uh, their legs, every little thing. And uh, I'm using some um, soft uh, gloss gel in my paint mixes because I want to give it a little bit of texture in the birds feathers uh, so I'm just uh, needing to let that dry now for the evening uh, and I work on the sky color a little bit more and here and there um, so now I do need to let it dry uh, you can see the texture in the birds feathers um, what I'll do next is um, emphasize the feathers a little more sort of shape in the wings a little bit um, each of them have a wing on the side that's um, tucked in, so I'll have to um, enhance that a little bit more. And uh, there's all sorts of little details and extra painting to do yet. So there's where I'm leaving it for now, and we'll add the rest as I go along. Thanks for watching. Well, here's another time lapse, uh, just working on the flamingos in general. Uh, I did work on some bits of the other painting while I wait for areas to dry, but I'm using molding paste on the flamingos to add some texture to the feathers. Uh, so they're not going to dry anytime soon. I have to wait a day for them to be good and dry. Um, so I work on the painting here and there. Here's a shot of what I did. This light colored one, uh, I don't like it. I had a real hard time getting that below wing to tuck under the way it's supposed to. And um, it's just not working for me. So what I ended up doing is 
uh, I'm, I'm changing it to sort of be in the position of the other flamingo on the left, on the lower left there. So um, I do change that light colored pink one a bit and uh, now I'm waiting for it to dry. It looks a little horrendous right now, but um, I had to scrape off a bunch of the molding paste. So uh, there you go. I'm, I just uh, scrubbed in a little bit of darker, not this one, but the other flamingo. Scrubbed in a little bit of darker color there and I'll fix all that up. But uh, I just needed to get some some changes in there. I didn't like it. So you can see how messy it looks right now, but I will fix it all up. It just needs to dry really well first. Uh, so I worked a little bit more on adding a little bit of trees. Um, just the idea of them and just doing some outlining and shaping in some of the hills and a little more um, color in the water. And I did some, um, I used some fluid gold in the uh, cattails there and you can see it sort of reflecting there. A little bit of extra um, texture. Uh, so I will finish working on this uh, another day, maybe tomorrow once. Um, okay, so one more time lapse coming up flamingo and I finish this up. painting off. I work a little more on the um, flamingo there and I am trying to add in his uh, bit of a wing. Uh, that one was really difficult to do because the picture I was using showed the wing in a tucked position and it was just horrendous to try to do it. I don't know what, I just couldn't get it. So I added a lot more um, molding paste than I wanted to, but I still like it. Uh, definitely a learning experience for, for that one, but uh, I still like them. And uh, I worked a lot more on uh, emphasizing the hills, uh, a little bit of tree line here and there and the water area and the grasses I did a little more too as well. Pretty happy with how I got the faces on the flamingos. Um, that worked out pretty well and that's about it. Uh, there's a little bit of still shots coming up. So I hope you enjoyed the video and that you uh, take a stab at um, embellishing your own pores that you do. Uh, sometimes it's hard to believe that it started out as a pore, but you can see some of it in there. And sometimes I get a little carried away and I paint a little too much over the pore, but um, the pore I did specifically for, you know, a foreground of some sort. So I've been wanting to do flamingos for a long time. So that's out of my system now. Um, but good practice and I will definitely try them again. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, the little journey of all the time lapsing and um, um, thanks for stopping by my channel. Take care now.